everyone welcome back to my channel it's Rachel Ray here and today I have a finish yes I finished cherry blossom mountain by diamond dots now this was a gift from Denise V over on my patreon thank you so much she sent this in the mail and I think it's absolutely stunning completed this only has 10 colors but it looks fantastic in fact I'm gonna bring you down into um, just where it's a normal size. This is one size, so the camera is not distorting it at all. Just so you can see, how beautiful is this? This is a partial diamond painting. And diamond dots are available in many different locations. You can get them online. Uh, you can get them uh, from redistributors. Um, you can, if you just search for diamond dots and the dots is with a Z, uh, you'll be able to find stores wherever you are that sell them. They're quite widely distributed. Um, but this is DD9.015. That is the item number if you want to look it up. Um, I just did a Google search and I found it. Now, um, it looks amazing. It's stunning. Uh, it probably wouldn't have taken me too long if I had just, you know, sat down and, and did it, I think it took four or five sessions of about an hour and a half to two hours each. So not very long at all. Um, it is full of what we call confetti, <laughs> where it's a lot of color changing in one area. And in some places, I mean, almost in every single section, there was every color being used. So even though 10 colors doesn't seem like a lot, it, it, it can feel a little bit overwhelming for, um, you know, such a small space. Does that make sense? I didn't need to use the multi-placer much at all, except maybe here if I really wanted to. Just a word of warning for those of you who love color changing. This is definitely the one for you. This, we're just going to go into specifics about the painting. The background, this canvas, is a very soft material. It's like, um, the back is a bit scratchy. Um, I believe that, and this is just my uh, personal experience and opinion here, but I believe that the Diamond Dots canvas is like what they call the Eco Cloud canvas. Um, and I believe that Dreamer Designs also uses this canvas. Um, it's a flocked edge, as you can see. Uh, it's fraying a little bit. I think this is um, polyester, but it it's very smooth here. Absolutely silky smooth on the picture, which is great. But the downside of this is that the symbols were a little unclear. And it did take my eyes a little bit of time to get used to the symbols. Um, and I believe I showed it in the unboxing, which I will link up in the eye above so that you can have a look. If you want to go back to that video, I'll make sure I put a timestamp in it. But um, there, you know, there's, you can say this is a Y and this is an X and this is a T. But um, when you actually looked at the canvas, um, I had trouble, I don't know, my eyes just had trouble distinguishing between certain symbols. So I would, the way that I completed this was that I did the symbols that I could see first to eliminate, you know, the confusion of the other symbols. Not that you might, you might not have a, a trouble at all, but just so that you know, that's how I did it. Um, the, so the canvas is lovely. Um, let me show you the, the, yeah, like I said, the downside of it is that it's, it's hard to see the symbols on this type of canvas, but the canvas, you know, when you're, if you're doing a partial, it's, it's nice to touch, if that makes sense. Just so that we know, um, it tells me down here, but just so that you know, the design size is 52 centimeters and it says 38 going, oops, going this way. Yeah, 38. So 20 and a half inches by 15 inches for framing, uh, where you won't be you won't be seeing the sides, but just so that you know this size. Um, it's a little bit awkward, <laughs> I won't lie. Um, it is a little bit of an awkward size to frame. So I'm I'm trying to think of how I want to frame this, whether I want to just 
cut it out and put it up on my wall um, or how I'm going to do it. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to look around for a frame. However, I'm pretty sure I'm going to seal this with you today. Um, the diamonds. The diamonds are fantastic. Love their diamonds. Um, I did feel that I was going to run out of the one color. That's all I have left of that color. I got very nervous. <laughs> but the rest of them, I mean, I have a good 150 to 200 drills of pretty much everything. Um, and, you know, if this isn't your first painting, then you might have some pinks in your sash that you could use um, to to substitute. But those are all the drills that are left. There are no more packages left because their drills are weighed. One thing that is very important to notice, and I went back and I watched the unboxing because Diamond Dots has their own system of numbering DM DMC. They don't use DMC. They use their own number system. If you're looking for the file, the file is available on our file section of Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray over on Facebook, the Facebook group. Uh, if you would like to download the conversion chart from Diamond Dots to DMC, but this canvas did not have Diamond Dots numbers. I went back and looked at the unboxing because I noticed on their website that it says, you know, on the packet, on the weighed bag, there should be the canvas number like A1, A01, A08, and then it should have an 8,000 number, like 8,307, um, but there is no second number. So unfortunately, these drills, if I wish to keep these drills, I'm going to have to match them to the DMC in my book, which maybe we'll talk about that in a minute. But I just want you to be able to see that it's finished. Now, uh, before you go to prep and seal a diamond painting, first, you don't have to seal a diamond painting. It's totally up to you. But this glue that they're using is super duper sticky, like so super sticky that I think I laid down my shawl when I was uh, showing my patrons on my Patreon only live stream. Uh, I think I laid my shawl down somewhere on the canvas and I got lots and lots and lots of fur on it. So I, I did the roller. Um, if you have a dog, you probably have one of these or, or a cat that sheds a lot. Um, I went ahead and I rolled over the diamond painting to pick up as much hair as I could. Then I went in with my pointy tweezers. They're really sharp. I went in and picked off all the rest that I could find. And what we're going to do now is seal it. So the way that I seal a diamond painting is most of the time I use uh, Tombow Aqua Glue, which you can actually buy in bigger quantities. But this is, if you're in the States, this is available in Michael's and probably other craft stores too. You can buy it online uh, and you can buy it direct from Japan as well. I think um, Remlin Rose... Sorry, I can't remember her ch channel name, the complete channel name. I'm having a moment. But um, Rose um, bought a big vat of it because it is really good for diamond paintings. Um, I don't trust the sprays anymore. <laughs> uh, bad experience. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, let me um, bring you down a bit. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you with this little spot. So I'm going to put a layer there. Get that chunk off. And I'm going to put it in the middle of where the drills are, like that. And then I'm going to use a paintbrush and spread it out without touching too much of the canvas. But I do want to seal the areas that have glue, like the double, not sorry, not double-sided adhesive, the poured glue. Uh, this dries clear, completely clear. And um, the, the reason I'm doing it this way 
is um, I don't want there to be wet spots in the canvas as much as possible. I know it's totally unavoidable uh, all over the canvas, but around the edges and in these bare areas, I want to make sure that um, the dimension is still there, but that there's no stickiness left because I don't want to put this behind glass. I would like to um, be able to frame this without anything in front of it because I personally don't like to put them behind glass. You kind of lose some of the sparkle that way. And I get asked quite a lot, um, do I seal my diamond paintings? Actually, I don't seal my full drills unless there's a problem. Like if the drills are popping, then I will seal it. But otherwise, you know, I, I won't bother. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this all over the canvas. I don't think you need to watch me do that. But um, I just wanted to show you how I was gonna go about sealing these areas because I knew that it would be a question that I would probably get, which is fair enough because it seems like it's difficult, but in reality, I don't think it's uh, as hard as it seems. I think you just need the, the right tool for the right job. You know what I mean? But yeah, I love, I love this picture. I, I love that it's a partial and I'm not a fan normally of partials, but this one I love because it is supposed to be 3D, you know, and it, and it gives off that effect so well. Whereas some of the other ones, they just they just weren't my type. They might be someone else's type though, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm definitely not judging, but we all have our preferences. Anyway, I'll go ahead and do this. I think it needs, it definitely needs a few hours to dry, if not overnight. Okay, the entire surface is now coated with aqua glue. Uh, that did not take very much at all. As you can see, I still have a lot. I did not use this whole thing. This this has lasted several projects. Um, I use it sparingly. It dries completely clear. Uh, I don't need to dilute it with anything. Just thinking of all the questions that might be asked of me. Um, it's just important to prep your surface first. And then it, it won't dull the spark sparkle at all. Right now, it looks as though maybe it has. But it's just because it's covered in a liquid. So I'm gonna, I just went around all the edges carefully and covered the sticky areas. And I'm gonna put this to the side so that it can dry. Um, so in the meantime, we have the diamonds and I have my DMC uh, color card. Now, let me turn on the light real quick. I should have done this before, but um, what I'm gonna try to do is to match them to the DMC. Now I know that this is 3865 and this is 310. I already know that. I think this is 414 or somewhere in that range. And once you once you get close or once you get comfortable with the DMC numbers, after a while it just becomes so easy to identify them. Put that up there. Now let's see where are the grays? You can see in this here it is over here uh, they're they're separated into color families you can get um, DMC diamond painting books but they're not necessary if you have one of these already in your stash this cost $9.99 and it came from Michaels I think but you can find this at any craft store now these are my grays and it's gonna be really really difficult to show you the exact shades but let's have a try at matching these up $37.99 looks close let's try these let me go back to the beginning. I think there might be a few over here. Maybe not. Those are more blue and purple tones. And that one's just a pure dark gray. So I'm going to say it's 
and I will put it in a baggie. I have a baggie, another baggie somewhere around here, but I'll just use this one for the time being. This had a little bit of resin in it, so it's it's got a little hair in it. But basically, I'll then just put it into a little baggie. You can order these online as well through lots of places, Amazon, AliExpress. And then you can just put $37.99 at the top. And again, we could do that with another color. So I'm going to look for a hot pink family. Now this one might be spread out. So we have reds and oranges, and then we have over here more of the hot pink. Now if you can buy this book, and you can buy it with the floss in the book, I would highly recommend that, the embroidery floss, because it'll be easier to match. Hmm. 150? Maybe 150? Or in the 600s? It's hard to say. But you just want to match them up as best as you can. Another thing you can do is if you have a lot in storage, you can try to match them up that way uh, because it would be better even if, let's say, for example, let's say that this color is actually 326, but the 326 in my stash consistently don't look like this shade, then maybe my eyes are deceiving me and this is actually 150. Does that make sense? So that's where the color card comes in handy, but your own stash will, will help you as well. So I hope that's helpful to anybody watching this video. Um, I'll let you know in the future when this gets framed and hung up and how I'm going to do that. Uh, but it may be a little while before I get around to it, but I hope you can understand. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and that it helped you to uh, learn a little bit about the process of how I go about finishing my diamond paintings. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos, consider subscribing. And I will see you all really soon in my next video. So take care, guys. Bye!